Hello, welcome to my channel. My name is Jenny. I'm from Jenny Card Designs. My YouTube channel contains content that is intended to share paper crafting tutorials and inspiration with all of you. I hope that you enjoy. Okay, for part two of my uh, junk journal flip book, I'm going to decorate my book that I showed you in part one. If you haven't had a chance to take a look at that, I will link to the video on the top of the screen here. So what I've done is I've picked out some 12 by 12 pattern paper from some recollections books that I have. I have a, a massive collection of them. I just love florals so much that every time I see them on sale, I grab whatever pattern, you know, catches my eye. So I've picked out a piece for each of these pages to decorate. Now we're going to measure first the pocket here. It measures six inches by three inches. And then the back piece that we're going to decorate measures six by six. So for the six by six and for the six by three piece, we're going to remove an inch off of those. So we need a piece that's five by five and a piece that's five by two. So we need that for each page that opens up, we need two of each. So two five by fives and two five by twos. So now when we, if you cut up this cardstock correctly, you'll be able to fill in two full pages of pockets with this. So you'll get four pieces that measure five by five and four pieces that measure five by two. I measure the first cut at five inches. So I've got a piece that's five by 12 and then a second piece, I cut another five by 12 and then cut that by five inches. So there's my first five by five panel. And then I'm gonna cut this at two inches to create my first five by two panel. And then what's left of that is a five by five piece. Okay, so hopefully this is making sense. So the leftover strip there is coincidentally two inches. So we're going to cut that twice to create two more strips that are five by two. And then there's a little small piece left over and we'll leave that and we'll put that aside for later. So I've got the last piece that's five by 12. I'm gonna cut a five inch piece there and another five inch piece. So let's go over that again. Out of one 12 by 12 sheet of cardstock, you're going to get this little tiny square here plus four panels that are five by five and four panels that are five by two. It's pretty basic. It just, I made it sound more complicated than it really is. So I'm going to adhere these pieces of pattern paper to my pockets and just kind of eyeballing it and centering it, making sure that I kind of get it uh, nice and even on all sides. And we'll do that for both pockets. And then I'll take the five by five pieces and adhere those to the back. For the first page, this is the only one I used the adhesive dot runner for. I just found that wet glue worked a bit better. So I started off with the, the adhesive dot runner and then I decided to cancel that out and go with some wet glue just because I felt like this was quite wasteful. So I'm gonna finish adhering this panel down and press everything into place. And I'm so happy with the way it's looking. This is not your typical junk journaling. This is a uh, a Jenny junk journal because I like things very neat, organized, clean cut, um, and, and eye-catching and appealing. So I hope that um, you might enjoy this too. So I'm going to take this second piece of cardstock and I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to cut out four panels at five by five and four panels at five by two. I won't continue showing you how I cut these out over and over again, but I just wanted you to go over this one more time with me so that you understood what I was doing and I didn't get too confusing and get you lost. So we'll go ahead and adhere these panels down. I love this butterfly, it's so pretty. So I'm gonna use my wet glue here. As I mentioned for the rest of the video, I'll use the wet glue. I think um, it's a more cost effective way and it'll help stretch our supplies longer. That I think I would have ran out of that adhesive dot runner before I finished this book. And I'm really happy with the way this is looking. And then I'm gonna continue on with the rest. So for each 12 by 12 sheet, when I cut them out, I get an extra 
four pieces to adhere to the next page. So this will be the last 12 by 12 sheet that I'll have to cut. Okay, so I'm going to take these panels and I'll glue them down to my my green cardstock here. I think these coordinate so nicely. Everything looks so pretty. Okay, this page is all done. We'll flip over to the next page. Now we've got spare cardstock already cut up and ready to go for the rest of these pages because as I mentioned, one 12 by 12 piece of cardstock will do two pages. So we only have to cut up three 12 by 12 sheets to decorate the insides of this book. So I just repeated the pattern. I used the same pattern on the same color, if that makes sense. Okay, so let's have a quick look at what we've got so far here. Super cute. Everything's holding together very nicely. Just checking on the binding as I open and close. So here's a look at our book and the little pockets. I'm sorry I'm a little bit off screen there. I didn't realize that the top of my book was off of the camera view. Okay, so now I'm going to take this piece of cardstock and adhere this to my book. I'm going to use, this is the outside, this is the front cover of my book, and this piece of cardstock measures eight and a half inches by five and a half inches. I just have a half an inch border, sorry, I just have a quarter of an inch border around the outside of my whole my whole book here and I'll do that for the front and the back the exact same measurement eight and a half inches by five and a half inches on the front and the back and I'll get those adhered down with my glue and then we're gonna get to decorating the book a little bit so I've got this cut apart sheet from my 12 by 12 paper pack and I'll just cut those out with my trimmer and I'm just following the guidelines on my trimmer and cutting them out and I'm going to use the branding strip off of one of my 12 by 12 pieces of paper just to give me a nice little accent border on this piece that I'm going to put on the cover of my book. So just a, a neat way to use up some scraps and create some definition and help this little image stand up and pop off the front of my book. So I'll get that adhered into place and I'll just use my dot runner and adhere this panel to the front of my book. There was this little scrap left over here from my front and back cover, so I just wanted to create a little baby envelope for the front, just for some fun interest. So I just glued that all together, and then I put some adhesive on the back and used another one of those branding strips off of the 12 by 12 paper pack, and just created the accent on the envelope too, and then glued that right down to the front of my card base. Now here is where I use those little leftover tiny baby squares from the 12 by 12s that we had cut apart. And I just took those three little cut aparts and took my stapler and stapled them together into like a little bit of a fan, just for some interest to create something kind of fun on the front of this book. Okay, so now I've got these cut aparts and I have some craft tags that I have in my stash. I have a, a drawer full of these tags that I have created with craft cardstock and I use them for multiple things, for Christmas cards and things. And I thought these were perfect accents for these little cut aparts. I just put a little strip of adhesive on the back of those little florals and then used some paper clips I had in my drawer and just clipped them to the pages. And now I use paper clips on every other page. And the pages that don't have any clips in, I just used some of those leftover cut aparts and stuck them inside of the little pocket. So I just went through this book and just kind of mismatched paper clips and attached them to the top and just trying to create some fun interest, but also staying true, true to myself and to my own sort of designs and the things that I like and the way that I like things to look. As I said, I, this is a Jenny's junk journal. It's not a normal junk journal. So I like things to be nice and neat and tidy. And that's what I did with this journal. So I really had fun making it. And I hope that you'll enjoy um, this new series. Um, I've got a few different journals planned out and some, some fun and neat designs and different ways to use the pattern paper and stash that I'm sure we all have. I've got lots of little six by six pattern paper packs too, so I might be working with some of those in the near future to make a little bit of a smaller journal. 
So we're just going to get these last few pieces adhered in and clip them into my book. We're done with the paper clips for now. So whatever I've got left here, I'll just slip into those empty pockets. I'll put a tag here and a, and a little floral card here just to fill in those areas and give us something to write on or add a photo to or to journal, whatever it is that you want to do with your book. So let's take some embellishments here. I've got some little paper flowers in my stash and, and I just kind of, I was working at a frame there for a minute, so I had to uh, remove some footage and just kind of get to the last few steps here because you couldn't see what I was doing. So I've got those paper flowers all glued on, and then I've got some fun, I've got some fun gold pearls that I put in the centers of those flowers. And then I thought it needed a little bit more, so I went back and I grabbed a couple of more flowers and and then that's it. I think I'm happy with the way this looks. Let's have a look through at the pages. And that's it for today's video. Thank you so much for taking time out of your day to spend it here with me. I truly appreciate all of the support. If you like the content that you've seen here today, don't forget to hit that like button to let YouTube know that you've enjoyed my content and that you want to see more from me. Coming up on screen are a few videos that I think that you may enjoy. And again, thank you so much. Have a lovely day and we'll see you in the next one. Bye!